Everybody, it's your boy Shax with a new video. In today's video, we're looking at videos uh, about Matthew Plus. Uh, it came out with FYP today, so I thought I'd give it a look. Uh, it's called Why Are Wild Players Scared of Mythic Plus Dungeons? Now, now, I play well at Mythic Dungeons quite a lot. I got Keystone Master, uh, Season 1 Dragonfly uh, this season. Uh, I've never been scared of doing Mythic Plus per se, um, but I'd like to give someone else's take on it. Definitely, so I would like to go and see this video and see what you guys think. But make sure you leave a comment down uh, in the uh, comment down. I would really appreciate it. Also, give this guy a like and sub. Obviously, it is, it is his video. So please go. I'll leave the link in the description of the stream, of the video of the stream uh, for you to go and take a look and give him like, give him sub. I'd really appreciate it. Also, don't give, give uh, us a like and a sub. I would really appreciate it as well. His name Jargo. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. See what it's about. So I want to start off this video by saying, this isn't a Warcraft channel, <clears throat> but I've almost exclusively been playing Dragonflight lately, so that's kind of all I want to talk about right now. I've been watching tons okay. of WoW videos, reading guides, and browsing the WoW subreddit, basically fully consumed by this game. While engaging in my addiction, I noticed a recurring theme among a few posts. I don't have the confidence to try time in 11 key. Tell me you have M plus anxiety without telling me you have M plus anxiety. If I can do it, you can do. There mm. seems to be this sentiment among the community that Mythic Plus Dungeons are these high skill, high level cesspools of toxicity that only the bravest of players can traverse. Not really. Now, I don't mean to belittle these people's struggles. WoW players can be the most elitist, toxic people you can encounter. I would agree, they can. I've just personally never found Mythic Plus to be the end game boogeyman it's made out to be. I've been doing this type of content since the mock challenge runs and would describe myself primarily as a Mythic Plus player. Okay. Because of this, I decided to take a look at why so many players may see Mythic Plus as a hardcore only experience. Here's why I think WoW players are scared of Mythic Plus. A barrier to entry. You're done with heroic dungeons, you've managed to clear everything on Mythic Zero, and you're locked out of LFR for the week. Right. You don't want to raid, so let's try running Mythic Plus Dungeons. Okay. Immediately, you're met with a waterfall of numbers and dungeons. Yeah, it is. By the second. Should be easy enough to get a group, right? Well, that's the first obstacle many players face when beginning Mythic Plus. Yeah, so when the when it comes up to it, it doesn't, the game doesn't actually tell you what level you should go at. It just kind of goes, oh, here you go. You've got these dungeons to go at. But the best thing to do is basically just do your own key at start. So, you know, do a Mythic Plus Dungeon, get a key, do a two, uh, see how it goes, and you go from there. It's, I would highly recommend doing Mythic Zeros first and all the dungeons. Get your gear from that. Uh, we'll get you to 370 like you did in the pre-patch. And obviously learn the mechanics, and then go from there. Do twos, and just keep on going from there. Content. See... The metrics that players use to screen possible pug pickups are item level and Raider IO score. Yes. There's no real correct item level for Mythic Plus. No. Obviously, the higher the better, but you can realistically do low keys at anything above 350. The issue is, when applying for a group, the group leader can see the item level of everyone who applies. Yeah, and the IO. The same goes for the Raider IO score. Yeah, so basically how they usually rate what I usually do it is I am level is basically your I am uh, I'm level how powerful you are, how geared you are, and your rating is basically your experience. So how experienced you are in all the dungeons that are on in Dragonflight right now. You could mean that you've done a 16 in Zero Vaults, or you could mean that you've done a 10 in Ruby Life Pulse. Doesn't matter. It just means that overall score, you've got more experience than a Z player who's done uh, 1500 than 1650. For those of you who may not know, Raider IO score is a point system awarded to players who have cleared Mythic Plus content. Yep, correct. It's basically a number representing the collection of the highest level Mythic Plus key you've cleared for each individual dungeon. The higher this number, the more high keys you've timed. Yes. This brings a pretty obvious catch-22 for new players. To get invited to groups, you need to have a better Raider IO score. Yeah, of course. To have a better Raider IO score, you need to get invited to groups. This can leave a lot of players playing Menu Simulator for a long time. Yeah, it, it does. Groups. The only other option would be to start a group yourself. Yeah, I would highly recommend doing that. Come, God, I mean group leader. And assemble your own group. <laughs> Seems simple. But this can be a pretty difficult task for a lot of people. I don't what? think it's a secret that MMO players aren't exactly the most sociable bunch. The pressure of starting a group, talking to four people, and then having to know what you're doing because you started the group in the first place can be a scary thing for some. 
It is. So if you really want to get into Mythic Plus, I would highly recommend getting into a guild and then obviously letting the guild help you doing getting into Mythic Plus. That way it would ease off a lot of pressure off you, honestly. Without my guild that I'm in now, it would I wouldn't have been the Mythic Plus player that I am now today. And I owe them a lot for it, so... It, it does help a lot of people have an experience and more uh, more knowledge of the game than it does. Uh, than you do novice going in, definitely. I should have. But I recommend getting a guild and uh, going for Mythic Plus. Which leads me to point number two. If you're raiding, your experience will pretty much stay the same. You'll bloodlust at the same time every fight. Yes. The same opener and pull. Pop your cooldowns at the same stage each time. The tactics don't really change unless you move on to a higher tier of difficulty. With Mythic Plus, however, things are different every week. Mm -hmm. Just makes it more of a challenge. Dex. Oh. That what it yeah, so it makes it more of a uh, more of a challenge. Apply extra conditions which scale in difficulty the higher the level. You get one affix by default. Yeah. Two for any key from level four to six. Three for any key level seven to nine. And then all three affixes plus the seasonal one for any key ten yeah. or higher. These affixes are such a big change in the landscape of the dungeon that they can kill runs for new players on the first. Yeah, they level. can if you don't know the affixes. Buff every trash pack in the dungeon. Have mobs leave pools behind when they die that heal the other mobs who stand in it. And the current seasonal affix requires you to match up a positively charged player with yeah. a negatively charged player in a certain time frame or else they get stunned. Which, on a plus 10 key, could be the difference between timing and not timing the key. By now, if you consume any kind of World of Warcraft content, you'll have heard the eternal debate between the casual and the hardcore player. Yeah. I don't need to repeat these sentiments that you've probably heard over and over again, but I will point out that casual players don't want to do homework to play a game. You don't necessarily have to do homework. You just need DBM or big wigs. That'll pretty much help you do you know, the mechanics of the game, what to do and what stuff to do. And obviously, you don't really have to do homework. Just do low keys and then just progress slowly. Don't up yourself and learn learn the weekly affix. So like, you know, just learn your know, sanguine, basically pulls on the floor, keep pull the mobs out of, out, out of the pool, don't let me heal up. Keep them out of the pool. Explosives. Hit the explosive with a single target. Get rid of it. And obviously, uh, you've got the fixation. Uh, kite away when they've got fixation. Or I'll get someone to go and kill it. Simple as that. Learn the, Just learn the affixes while you're playing. It's so much more easier. Uh, I know it can be a bit hard. But obviously, read the actual affix as well. Just read it. Just literally read the thing. It's pretty simple. If you've ever raided with a guild or a pug group, You'll know that players won't even watch a three minute video giving them a step by step guide on what to do for one boss. So imagine telling a brand new player that they need to know the tactics for eight dungeons and 13 affixes. Yeah, that's pretty much the hard bit. If they're really not that difficult, unless you're investing a lot of time in the game, it can seem like a ridiculous ask for someone who's just looking to play casually. Yeah, so as, as a new player, I would definitely say yes to that. It would be definitely hard for you to learn the mechanics and different bosses. But now and again, when you get more experience, like say you play one season and another season, and about the third season, mechanics start becoming the same thing, but in different versions. So they'll take one mechanic out of a boss, and another mechanic, a different boss, and put it to a season three boss. And it's just the way you've got to imagine it that way. Uh, that's how I imagine it anyway. So it's just a little bit, little things like that. you'll learn it, and then and then you'll do it like I say, lower keys. Learn it like do with mythic zeros, learn the mechanics, and it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's good. Mythic zeros are your best friend. Do zeros. Which brings me to my final point accountability. Rating is considered by most <clears throat> primary end game for World of Warcraft. It drives the story along, involves large groups of players coming together, which is the initial draw of an MMO in the first place, and allows you to compare your performance to everyone else with achievements, titles, gear, and sweet. Sweet parses. Mm. Most often than not in a raid environment, you're in a group of 25 people. It is. As long as you can maintain mediocre performance and not wipe the raid by messing up a key mechanic, you can usually sit back and mentally AFK. It doesn't require you to interact with anyone or communicate at all. I've literally done pug groups where I applied, got invited, mm. and then listened to music while I played. Never said a word to anyone, never had a word spoken to me. For a lot of people, this is ironically the ideal scenario for a massively multiplayer game. All of that is thrown out the window for Mythic Plus. You are one of five. 
if you're the tanker healer, you're the only tanker healer. Yep. You can also you're the, quite an important role. Being watched by everyone in the group. It's also a lot more apparent if you mess up a mechanic, ninja pull, don't know how to play your class, or aren't paying attention. Yeah, so I was always highly recommend to play DPS first. If you ever get into Mythic Plus, play DPS first. Learn the mechanics, different things. Um, you know, get used to having more experience by playing World of Warcraft, and then move on to Tank or Healer. And obviously, get someone to come and help you play Tank and you know, what to do and how to do it and everything. And what, and then obviously there is add-ons that help you out and stuff like that. So, like I said, DPS. Learn DPS first. Don't go Tank or Healer straight away. You, you it's very big risk. Now, normally. These things wouldn't be a huge deal. Someone messes something up in a raid, it's fine. The only thing you've lost is your time, but you can just reset and try again. In Mythic Plus, however, you only have one chance to time the key. Yeah, it's true. To beat each boss and clear enough trash within the allotted time to improve your Raider IO score and increase the level of your next awarded key. If you fail. That is true, but now in the, it's implemented again, even if you just overtime it a bit you still get points and you still get gear at the end and you still get some uh other rewards as well like you know the primal infusion stuff whatever stuff you get 10 of them infuse it you can do in the crafting order so it's not really a big deal anymore like before in shadowlands it was a bit more rubbish where you didn't get anything you know no i no higher score or you just literally didn't time it uh you were lucky to even get any gear so yeah but now it's a lot more better but much more better just for actually finishing the key and actually to finish it which is nice Fail to do so, then whoever activated their key has it downgraded to one level lower, and no one in the group gets a bump in Raider IO score. That's fine. There's actually, something on the line, albeit a small and overall unimportant thing. Just means you're not ready for that type of key. The toxic players from letting you know you're the one who messed up. It's also for this reason that creating pug groups can be such a pain. You go to all the trouble of listing the group, selecting the right players, travel yep. to summon everyone to the dungeon. Put up your key and get started, only to find out they have no idea what they're doing. You've just wasted time, energy, and your key. It is what it is. That's what Mythic Plus says, unfortunately. There are things that can be improved upon by the player and overcome with just a bit of preparation and confidence. The biggest problem that most casual players face is one they can't control. Toxic players. Having your mistakes pointed out or being judged for a not-so-stellar performance is par for the course in any cooperative online game. It's something that you've just got to deal with if you're playing an online game where your actions can affect the other player's experience. What no one wants to deal with, though, are rude, angry, aggressive dorks who take it personally that you don't know as much as they do and feel the need to sling as much hate as their stubby hands can get across. Yeah, you get that. Just ignore it. Most people play games to relax and forget about the crap in their day-to-day -day lives. I don't blame them for not seeing the appeal of taking on the sweaty ire of elitist players. While I very much hold the sentiment that Mythic Plus isn't difficult if you just take a little time to read up on what you should do, the abuse some players face <laughs> isn't worth it. Like I said before, you don't have to read it up. You just do Mythic Zeros, start from the beginning, learn the mechanics, watch everything what everybody else is doing, watch the interrupts. And just watch, like, you know, watch everything that's going off. And just, even if you do it once every week, do it with it just to learn the mechanics. And then obviously learn the, learn the FX. It's go over, hover on, go on Group Finder, go on Mythic Plus, hover over the FX. It'll tell you what the FX is and what it does and everything. And just learn it. It's, it's, it is quite simple to do. You don't have to look it up too much. It's not big homework. It, it's pretty simple. Thanks very much for watching. Oh, okay. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of content. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that video. It was good. It was good insight for people that are new to what Mythic Plus. I mean, like I said, it's as simple as, you know, just doing Mythic Zeros and learning the mechanics. Um, But what else can I say, really? You know, it, you need to be in a guild or someone to show you more. It's hard for new players to do that. So I highly recommend if you're a new player, do Mythic Zeros, get into a guild or get some friends to show you how to do Mythic Plus. It is, it is harder on your own. Don't do it on your own. That's my biggest advice. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you, you enjoyed it, what your takes on it, and if it pulls up for new players and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll see you there. Have a great rest of your day, and peace.